Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your brother Wild Israelite from the Travel Race Car, and um, we're just gonna do a, a, a continuation, right? We're gonna do a continuation from our last video when I was in uh, my vehicle, right? Um, so get your Bible, and you know we're gonna be jumping into a lot of meat understanding, and you know just says you know uh, the Holy Spirit gives us understanding. Um, you know, I want to give all praises to the Most High, Ahaya, Asher Ahaya, and His precious Son, Yeshaya, okay, and also the Ruach, Kodash, okay. Um, so like I said guys, we're going to be getting into some meat information. Uh, you know, this video, okay, it could be used for edifying our brothers. Or our brothers rejecting this information I'm about to bring out, okay? Um, anyways, let's go to Isaiah chapter 28, verses 9 and 10. And it says, Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, and there a little, okay? So that's our main formula that we need to look at and when we're uh, going through the scriptures. And, you know, we're getting a little bit over here and a little bit over there. We're doing line upon line, okay? Just like we're doing a puzzle, guys. Come on. Just like a puzzle, right? All right, so go to... Um, Psalms 119, Psalms 119, we're going to stay here for a few minutes. We're going to go through a lot of scriptures in one, one Psalms 119. And we're going to start at verse, uh, Psalms 119, we'll look at verse 4, and it says, Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Verse 5 says, Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Verse 6 says, then I should not be ashamed when I have respect unto thy commandments. Okay? So that's the difference maker. You know, those that respect the commandments and honor the Most High, and those that reject the commandments and are disobedient. Okay? So let's go down to verse, uh, verse 40 and verse 48. It says, Behold, I have longed after thy precepts, Quicken me in thy righteousness. Verse 48 says, My hands also I will lift up to thy commandments which I have loved, and I will meditate in thy statutes. And I will meditate in thy statutes. Okay? So you're going to be thinking about the, the, the precepts, you know, the commandments, you know, the testimonies of Christ. You know, we're going to be, we're going to be meditating day and night. It says Psalms one says, you know, we're going to meditate in the law, statutes, and commandments day and night. Okay. Let's go to uh, 55 and 56. 55 and 56, it says, I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night I have kept thy law. Okay. I remember thy name, which is a higher, a sure, a higher. O Lord, in thy night, and I have kept thy law. Okay. And as we all know, you know, the law is good. It says Romans uh, 7 verse 12 says, you know, the law is good for us. Um, 55 says, I remember thy name. Oh, I already read that one. Uh, let's look at verse 56. It says, this I had because I kept thy precepts. Okay, now read it from verse 55 one more time. It says, I remember thy name, O Lord, in the night I have kept thy law. This I had because I kept thy precepts okay i have kept thy precepts and we will look at verses 104 look at verse 104 okay and it says through thy precepts i get understanding therefore i hate every false way okay through thy precepts i get understanding Therefore, I hate every false way. So when we're reading the scriptures, right, we're supposed to be looking at everything like literally, okay? We're, take, we're supposed to take the Bible literally, okay? You can't have no metaphors. You can't have no allegories or whatever, okay? 
Because when you're subject to saying things like, oh, this is a metaphor, then you're subject to your own opinion, and therefore you, you bring out your own self-interpretation of the scriptures, and that is a no-no. We're not supposed to be doing that because, you know, when we're subject to our own opinion, you know, the Bible is against that. You know, the script says, you know, we're not to have self-interpretation, okay? And so that's what we need. To, we need to stick to these precepts, and then therefore we will have understanding, okay? Just as, you know, um, when I first started doing this, this Inside the Truth, guys, you know, my first mission, okay, was to get down John 3.16, okay? To precept John 3.16 with other precepts. Okay, that was my main mission. Okay, and I'm past that mission now. Now, if anybody asks me about John three sixteen, we can talk to them inside John, and we can also show them what that world represents. Okay, what that world represents in um, John three sixteen, because everybody's saying that oh, it, it's for everybody. No, it's not. The context of that scripture is not applying to everybody out there in this world. Okay. So let's continue. Uh, we'll go to uh, 125 to 128. Okay, we're still in Psalms 119. It says, 125. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. Verse 126 says, It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments above gold. Yeah, above fine gold. Therefore, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Guys, I'm telling you, if there was a suitcase full of, um, I would say, $10 million right here on the table, okay? And then you had diamonds right here, and a couple gold bars right here, okay? If you have all of that right there, okay? You're probably like, well, man, I could be rich off that. I can go do a bunch of stuff with that, you know. For for my part, you know, I will reject all that, okay. I will reject the $10 million in cash, the diamonds, the rubies, all that. I will reject, you know, the three gold bars, okay. I will reject all that, okay. And especially because all that right there I just, just gave to you guys can rust and moths will go upon it. Okay, I'm about to lay my treasures up in heaven. I don't know about you guys, but this this word, okay, this word is my treasure.